Disney Cruisers, welcome back. I'm Ashley and in this video I'm going to explain to you Disney Cruise Line alcohol policy. Lots of questions about this so let's get started. So our question is, can you bring alcohol on your Disney Cruise? The answer to this lovely question is yes, of course. There are some stipulations however that go along with the ability to bring your own alcohol on board your Disney Cruise. So the rule goes, and these are as of April 2018 when I'm recording this, each adult 21 years of age and older can bring two unopened bottles of wine. Each bottle cannot be more than 750 milliliters or that adult that's 21 years of age or older can bring six unopened bottles of beer. Each bottle cannot be more than 12 ounces. And I do know that beer is beer. It does not mean malted beverages or seltzers or sparkling things of any kind. I know a lot of people who have been told, sorry, you can't bring this on the ship. Beer is beer. You also may not bring any spirits or liquor of any kind or powdered alcohol if that is something that you knew existed. I did not know that existed, but just so you know, if you wanted to bring powdered alcohol on board, you can't. So let's say we are going on our Disney cruise and I have my alcohol, what do I do with it? Put it in your carry-on. If you put your alcohol in your packed luggage that you give to the Disney Cruise Line to check, on board and then they drop it off in your room. When you open up your suitcase, your alcohol will be gone. They will have kept it back at security for you. So it needs to be in your carry-on luggage. Now if you bring on too much or the wrong kind or you put it in your checked luggage, they will tell you about it. They will take your alcohol and store it for you. It is up to you at the end of your cruise to go get your alcohol back. If you do not, they will take it, they will destroy it, and you will get no compensation for it. So it's pretty easy. If you just stick to the rules, you'll be able to take your alcohol with you no problem at all. You don't have to worry about wine glasses or a corkscrew. You just call to room service and they will gladly bring it for you. The rule about consuming the alcohol you bring on board is that it must be done in your stateroom. You cannot take it with you around the ship. If you would like to have it during dinner in the main dining room, you can take it with you and there is an uncorking fee for $25, but then you may drink it with your dinner. Now, something that a lot of people don't realize is that when you stop at a port, you can bring more alcohol with you, the same requirements, either six more bottles of beer or two more bottles of wine per person over 21. So these rules are very strict and I know from lots of people's stories that I've heard that if you do not follow the rules, then they will take away your stuff. So make sure that you pay attention. You can also find their policy online at the Disney Cruise Line website. So if you are someone who brings your alcohol on board and you would like to have a little snack with it while you drink it, maybe in your room or on your veranda, then you should check out a video that I'll post below about secret places to go get food on the ship you don't even have to walk all that far to get it and then you can bring it back to your room and eat it when you consume your alcohol. Thank you for stopping by. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like Disney and cruising and make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you can find out a whole bunch of useful information. Until next time, I'll see you. Get it? See? Ocean? See? See you next time. Bye!